Hi yo! And welcome back to Mermaid Splash Passion Festival. Now, if you'll recall from the first time I played this game, it is a visual novel that is Yuri-centric, meaning it focuses on female-on-female -female love, but there isn't anything X-rated in it, at least not that I saw. Um, and I really wanted to get back to this because the first time, I did not allow my little character Cece to fall in love. Instead, I chose for her to follow a path where she loved herself, because that is where every relationship should start, with you having a good relationship with you. So now that that's taken care of, and you can go and watch that video if you like, I will link to it, I'm going to jump into this and see if I can build a relationship, uh, romantic or otherwise, with some of my fellow mermaids. Uh, so let's start. Now, I didn't actually save the game last time I played, so there's not going to be anything to load. I'm just going to start fresh. And this game, by the way, was very, very cute. Okay. Deep underwater in a cute little fish town, there lives a mermaid named Cece. And also, Cece's so cute, because she's chocolate to boot. Mm. All right. Hey, y'all, I'm Cece. And she just has my voice, as all main characters do when I read these things. In Cece's town, they hold a tradition called the Passion Festival. The Passion Festival is a place where every mer person can showcase their talents and express their heart's true passion. There are contests and showcases, music and food galore. It has everything a mermaid could ever wish for. Cece has always dreamed of entering the Passion Festival, but this lost little mermaid has never quite been able to choose her path in life, despite her many interests. Again, very me. That's not for lack of trying or nothing. There's just too many things I love doing. And I've been doing them all for at least a little while now. I'm super attached to all my hobbies. Haha, <laughs> same. Even so, it's about time she made a decision. Then with the Passion Festival coming up, now's her chance. Heck yeah, I better get my tail fin in gear. Should I try to be a better artist like my friend Angie? <laughs> It'd be fun to draw together. Come to art club again sometime. Or maybe I could hone my dance skills, like Delora. Join us in dance class, hun. We'd all love to see you more. Hmm, but Maka's always saying I've got a green fin. I'd really like to try gardening more, too. Come on out and plant some new stuff with me, neighbor. It's real rewarding, you'll see. And then there's B. She said she'd teach me new fighting techniques. That sounds so cool. That's right. Come train with me at the dojo. Realize your full potential, Cece. Aw, oh, man. See what I mean? How am I supposed to pick a direction when all of them would be so awesome to do? Also, I'm just now remembering the way that they write her dialogue and how she's supposed to sound. And I still don't know how I feel about it, but whatever. She's me. She has my voice. I love her. Also, I just noticed that she has two different color eyes. You're just, you're just so beautiful. But now there's a reason to choose something. The Passion Festival. Yeah, I want to get really good at something and show off what I can do. There's one whole month before the Passion Festival. That's plenty of time to finally start focusing. I just have to buckle down and start practicing. And that starts with setting a schedule. Also, uh, I'll bet you dollars to donuts, as one of my old professors used to say, that I won't remember a single voice I did for any of those characters. Tutorial. Choose your schedule. To begin preparing for the Passion Festival, pick from one of Cece's four passions, or take a week off to relax by staying home. Cece only has four weeks to prepare for one of the contests, so you'd better get started. As long as I stay focused, I'm sure I can win. Let's work hard! What should I do this week? Okay, so when I played it the first time, the way that I basically got her to focus on herself and not develop relationships was that I basically had her stay home. Um, not every week, like not all four weeks, but enough 
that she just didn't kind of get to that point with any one person. So this time I'm going to focus on one person. I'm going to do four weeks and then I'll see if I feel like going through and doing it with all four characters or not. Uh, so what do I want to do? What I want to do art club with Angie dance class with the one I already forgot gardening or training at the dojo. I think I'm going to do gardening because that character looks a little crazy. Like she's got crazy teeth and I'm into it. So let's go garden. I'll spend some time in my garden with Maka this week. Ah, yes, Maka. All right. Cece enters her backyard with determination. Cece is serious about making gardening her true passion. By the way, this game is just the most adorable thing ever. Like, the music is great. The art's great. Like, they did a really good job. I said it all the first time I played. Now we're just going back through it. But, <laughs> her little face. <laughs> She's so cute. Yikes! There sure are a lot more weeds than I remember. Ortho, bitch! Get that roundup, though! Except that it's carcinogenic, I think. And I don't have that many plants or corals started, either. Hmm. Cece isn't confident she can grow anything substantial in just four weeks. But she starts tending to her garden anyways. She weeds, she fertilizes, and tends to what foliage is already there. When she's done, it's already the middle of the day. Phew! So much to do! Gardening is hard work! Whoa! Maka is swole. Cece's neighbor, Maka, approaches her. Howdy, neighbor! Hope you don't mind, I've been peeking over while you worked. See what I'm saying? Like, look at all this. Look at all what's happening here. I don't know why I like it, but I do. Haha, <laughs> hi, Maka. I'm trying to get back in a garden in. And also, again, trying one day to learn how to finish a verb with the letter G. You look tuckered out. I think you need to work on your stamina. Yeah, working in the garden is more exhausting than I thought. I've gained a lot of respect for you. Yeah, <laughs> shucks. No need for that. My body's just built for work like this. Hell yeah, it is. She got them guns. She got them Second Amendment guns. You'll gain endurance, too, if you keep up the hard work. All uh, right. Do you think I could be good enough in time for the Passion Festival? Huh? That's happening in about a month, ain't it? I suppose that's enough time for something decent to grow. Assuming you picked the right thing. <laughs> well, I'm gonna try my best. You try your best, Cece. Just like I do. I always try my best except when I don't. That's the spirit, little Cece. I'll help you out however I can. Aw, thanks, Maka. You so sweet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No problem. Sweat friends are for. What would you recommend for an amateur gardener like me? I can't decide what kind of plan I should enter in the contest. Hmm. That's a toughie. You've got quite a few options. But I think your best fit would be raisin and anemone. Judges tend to be pretty fond of those. Really? Why is that? Well, simple. They're colorful and pretty, and they can attract rare fish. I think that should be your angle. Ha ha ha! Angle, kind of like angling the fish. I don't know anything about fishing. Oh, okay. Yeah, this sounds like the way to go. So, how do I take care of it? What do they eat? How much effort goes into raising a good one? Every time I see raising, I want to say raisin. Like, like a raisin. Also, I'm going to drink some water. Because I'm thirsty. It's summer. Ah. Delish. <laughs> they can fend for themselves well enough that it won't be overwhelming for you. Just toss them some shrimp or scallops every once in a while. That should be good enough. Okay, got it. Thanks for helping me figure out where to start, Maka. What would I do without you? <laughs> Glad to help out. Later, Max. With resolve, CC begins the transplant of the anemone. A huge old pot will do the trick. Perfect. 
Cece spends the rest of the week carefully tending to her garden. It's important to keep the water conditions nice and stable. She checks on her anemone often, just to be sure. Also, I am very shocked that I managed to pronounce that the same way each time. Looks like it's doing okay. Oh my gosh, how exciting! I think this really might work! In her downtime, Cece spends time in the garden sunbathing with her shell top. Why do you look so old from the back, Cece? <laughs> like, she just looks like an old grandma. I don't know why. Most of that time is spent researching plants and watching gardening videos. Ah, the relaxed atmosphere of the garden is really where I fit in. I love this. She's drooling. That's also very me. Too bad my poor anemone is still so small, but by the end of these four weeks, I know it'll be big and beautiful, just like my booty. You can do it, anemone. I believe in you. It's going to be the next Hokage. Believe it. I'll give you all the protein you want, just like my her. So please don't hold back. Let's give it our all. Cece's anemone, while still small, has all the potential of a winner. With love and care, surely it, and Cece, can come out a winner at the festival this year. Alright. Passion event, dancing, cause it's a little screen where it's going to things that are- Okay, I don't know. Cece gives her pet sea bunny coconut a little pet. Oh, I remember coconut. You put the lime in the coconut and put them both together. Oh, coconut, you're my only true passion. No one's cuter than you. Tutorial. It's the weekend. Now is Cece's chance to hang out with her friends and develop closer relationships. Who knows? It could bloom into a beautiful romance. Oh, um, <laughs> we'll see. I mean, I do like all of my friends, but no one's ever like liked me before. No pressure, Cece. Just go hang out and have fun. Besides, you're cute as hell. They're all gonna be into it. <laughs> yeah, I can think about that stuff later. It's time to take a nice little break until Monday rolls back around. I wonder if any of my friends are free for the weekend. All right, and then I think before I would choose never mind, and then she would just spend the weekend with herself, you know, reflecting and growing as a mermaid person. All right, but I'm going to hang out with Maka. We're going to get that relationship going. Cece swims out into her backyard to greet Maka. Why is Maka just in my backyard? Ease up, Maka. We are not there yet, okay? Uh, Cece swims out to her backyard to greet Maka, who's still happily gardening even through the weekend. Howdy, neighbor! Maka! Your garden's looking fab. I always feel so inspired when I see it. Aw, oh, why thank you! And here I was thinking I might have gotten carried away this season. Yeah, seems like you're out here every day lately, no matter the currents. <laughs> Just gotta make sure these babies reach their full potential. Is it cool if I watch you work? Huh? You really want to watch? Well, sure. Happy to have the company. Mako's big, toothy smile warms Cece's heart each time she sees it. It warms my heart, too. That's why I picked her, because her teeth are crazy. There's always a sparkle in Mako's eyes when she talks about her garden. A charming but dangerous glimmer. It makes Cece want to ask all sorts of questions about the things she's planted this season. Which gets Maka talking. Dot, dot, dot. And talking. And talking. And Cece doesn't want to be rude. But if she doesn't say something soon... Um, Maka? Oh, what's up? Did you have a question about raising bubble coral? Uh, no, it's not that. Oh, no, I'm talking your hair off, aren't I? Don't worry, I'll shut my yap. Tell me to stuff it sooner next time. I won't get mad. Uh, no, I love hearing about your garden. I really do. But uh, yeah, I, I want to know more about Maka. Me? Yes. Tell me about things that aren't your garden. Like how you get them arms dough. 
But what? That's boring. I don't want to talk about myself. Come on, even if I ask nicely. Pretty please, Maka, give me one fact about your life. A fact of life. A fact of life. You're a tough pickle, neighbor. I like pickles. All right, one fact. Hmm. I lost a tooth this morning. Not the kind of fact I had in mind, but it's a start. <laughs> that was time I could have spent telling you how easy it is to raise a fine bubble coral. Well, I do want to know about that still. Great, let me show you mine. <laughs> what if she meant like bubble corals and it was just like boobs? And she just like showed her boobs? I don't know, never mind. <laughs> By the end of the day, Cece's head is stuffed with various facts about kelps, corals, and anemones. But she still can't shake this disappointed feeling. She wished she could learn more about her friend. Yeah, what are you hiding, Maka? Let me in. Also, I'm going to drink some more water. Ah. I'll just have to try again next time. That's right, Cece. After all, most things worth doing can't be done in a day. Except winning the lottery. You can do that in a day. In minutes, in fact. Today was the first of many steps to getting close to Maka. Mm. Maka had already gone inside, but Cece still felt a little embarrassed saying it out loud to herself. She quickly retreats back into her home to continue about her day. Ba -ba, ba -ba -da -da, friend event. I like to dance when the screen comes up. Okay. Oh my lordy Jezebuba Gabada. That is, I don't like how Maka's drawn there. Mm -mm. Oh no. I do like the various like art styles that are mixed into this game. But yeah, that's, that's, like I'm not into her like that. Like there's uh, her face. I just, I don't know. Nothing, you know, against the people who drew her that way. You know, that's just how she was born. She can't help it. Cece visits Maka at her job at a local garden store. Are you interested in a bag of top quality undersea fertilizer? It's cheaper here than anywhere else. Maka, I came by to chat with you, not hear about all the crazy deals around here. But it'd be really good for your garden. I could even buy it for you. <laughs> you know, as a gift. Oh, you don't have to. I'll just come back when your shift is over, okay? Don't forget to check out our assorted rocks. You can do a lot to make your yard even more colorful. Cece felt happy that Maka seemed so excited to see her. Yeah. Yay! The week is over! Three weeks until the Passion Festival. Monday already! Which means I gotta get back- Oh god, I thought- Okay, I don't- I'm not even gonna say what I thought that said. Which means I gotta get back to being productive. What should I do this week? Uh, we're gonna go back to Makasos gardening. Because I want to just spend all four weeks doing that. Because I also want to win the Passion Festival. Because last time I, I didn't win the Passion Festival because the thing that I chose to participate in, I hadn't spent all of my weeks like working on. Uh, so I came in, I don't know what I came in. You can watch the video to find out. Ha 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 cliffhanger clickbait. Anyway, Cece feels absolutely refreshed entering her garden for its second week. Everything looks to be in order and Cece feels motivated to make it look even better. Ah, I think I'll plant even more stuff today. Cece heads to the gardening store nearby and stocks up. She buys seeds, fertilizer, tools, pots, just about anything one would need for a garden. Phew, that was a little spendy, but it'll be worth it. Cece returns to her garden and starts tending to it immediately. She plants rows of different colored corals, all different sizes of an enemy. I finally messed it up. I think I said an enemy. <laughs> Anemone. She even plants edible seaweeds to harvest later in the season. Oh, nice. These will be delicious. I'm so excited. I'll share them with everyone. In the middle of her gardening, Maka comes to say hi. You're a hard worker, Cece. 
I'm always impressed by your efforts, you know. Haha, <laughs> thanks, Maka. I do my best. Maka very abruptly lets out a big happy sigh. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Seeing you just... It really fills me with a sense of nostalgia. Yeah? Tell me about it, stud. I got gills. They're multiplying. <laughs> ah, references. Let me drink some more water, though. Also, I think I hear a neighbor outside my door. They're probably like, what is she doing in there? Who is she talking to? Who's Maka? All right. Goodness gracious. Huh? Well, sure, I guess. Cece sits down in one of her garden chairs, ready to listen intently to Maka's story. It's so rare she shares anything about herself and not her garden. I gotta listen in. Well, seeing you just reminds me of why and when I bought my house, you know. It had, and still does, the best spot for a big garden in the whole neighborhood. Ah, uh, but it's about her garden still. <laughs> of course. I can still remember when everything in my yard was just sand. It had so much potential. So, the first thing I did was till up as excu Oh, excuse me, Maka, Maka, sweetie, whoa, my oh my god. Anyways, then I drew up a plan for how the wound of the garden be. I went to the local garden store, and wouldn't you know it, they were hiding. I thought, whoa, this is destiny for sure. Uh-oh, what did I unleash? Shit, I was not expecting that. I probably could have kept up with it if I was actually, like, paying attention to the screen. Before Cece knew it, she had been pulled into an hour-long origin story about Maka's garden. It was nice to learn more about Maka, as well as a bunch more about gardening, but it was still quite tiring. Whoa! Is it six already? I gotta go! Time really does fly by when you're talking, especially as much as you were. Oh, well, jeez, thanks for listening to me ramble on for so long, Cece. Haha, <laughs> it really was quite the ramble, but it was fun. I'll catch you later, Cece. Keep up the good work. Bye, neighbor. Love you. Goodbye. Love you. Phew. That was fun, but I think I'm ready for a nap. Me too. Cece spends the rest of the week attending her garden and researching plants as usual. But on the last day of the week, something is amiss. Oh no! Cece's anemone seems sick somehow. Oh gosh, oh no! Oh no, oh gosh, oh golly gee, oh no! I've got trouble. Its tentacles seem wilty and its color isn't as bright. Somebody's calling and interrupting me. I'm just going to decline it. I don't know. Yes, I... No, decline. I don't recognize that number, and neither does Cece. Anyway, back to the game. Its tentacles seem wilty, and its color isn't as bright. What's more, there's not a fish in sight near it. Cece tries a few things to remedy the situation, but nothing seems to be working. Seems like it can make it through the weekend, but... If I don't do something soon, my poor anemone could die, and so could my chances at the Passion Festival. Cece will have to find a solution somehow. I swear I'll figure it out soon, for my anemone's sake. La 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 la, passion event, I'm gonna sing every single time! Alright. Cece, wow, that was, okay, what? Wait, did it, what? What did it just say in the upper right? Unlock something? What did I unlock? Anyway, Cece and Maka take a break from gardening to share a lemonade. Sweet! Where did they get the lemons? <laughs> just lemons just fell down into the ocean and they were like, what is this? I guess we'll squeeze it and drink whatever comes out. Gosh, I should really make some plans today while everyone has time off. I wonder if any of my friends are free for the weekend. Okay, you know who we're going with, Cece. We're going for Maka. Seriously, though, what number was that? I don't know. I don't even know. Mm, I don't even know. All right. They didn't leave a message. And you know what I say? If you don't leave a message, then, you know, I don't, I don't return your call. All right. Maka. 
Cece swims out into her garden, hoping to see Maka hard at work. And she is! Maka doesn't notice Cece come out, so she takes the opportunity to... Boo! Wow! Ha <laughs> ha! Gotcha! <laughs> oh, it's just you, Cece! Hey, that reminds me! I thought of some things! Facts! Ooh, Maka facts! Let me hear them! Hmm... What were they again? Aw, don't tell me you already forgot what you came up with. <laughs> Just a joke, Cece. That's why I made a list. Maka holds out a small notebook for Cece to look over. What could a list of Maka facts contain? I just pictured her actually just being like, oh, it's just a small list. And it's that sight gag where, like, they have this little, like, rolled up piece of paper. But then they unroll it and it's just this really long scroll that just goes rolling down the street. But Cece's excited grin fades when she sees the title. It's a list of what plants Maka wants to grow in the future and why. Cece can't help but giggle. <laughs> Maka, this isn't what I had in mind either. Really? You're hard to please. I'll try asking some new questions, is that okay? Alright, fire away, Cece. What are some of your other hobbies? Do you have a dream job? No good. Those answers are all going to be related to gardening, too. All of them? Reading gardening magazines, getting odd jobs tending other mermaids' gardens, chatting about plants on forums. I'm already living my dream. I get to work in gardens all the time. Oh, yeah. huh? You've got your life all figured out. I wish it was that easy for me to just have one thing to devote my whole life to. Uh, well... Uh, sorry, that has nothing to do with this. I'm happy for you, Maka, really. I just wanted to find a more real connection with you. Mm, like a USB connection? Oh, man. I'm really a one-trick seahorse, aren't I? I'll try bringing more variety into my life. I don't want to lose you as a friend. Oh no, I didn't mean we can't be friends if you only care about one thing. That would be a really weird... <laughs> really weird reason to end a friendship. I know, but I should make more of an effort. Besides, ever since you brought it up, I realized I might be missing out on a lot of neat stuff. Well, if it's for your own sake, I don't feel so pushy. But really, go do something else, bitch. <laughs> what do you mean? You're still pretty pushy. Maka! <laughs> Maka continues to tease Cece as she returns to spreading fertilizer by pooping on the ground. Cece feels like she made even more progress today. It was getting easier for both of them to open up to each other. I wonder what I'll get to learn about Maka next time. I can't wait! Friend event, dancing again, cause I'm gonna hit space bar. All right. Maka and see, oh my God, is that what Maka looks like from head to toe? Oh, so sweet. Oh, so cute. All right. Maka and Cece find a nice little arena in the park to sit down for a picnic with picnic baskets. I can't get over how cute you look in that outfit, Maka. Me too, Cece. Oh God, we are alike. Ah, thanks, Cece. It's my special picnic and wear. <laughs> I feel plain in comparison. Maybe I should find some cute picnic and clothes too. Your little t-shirt is fine, honey. That's what I would wear. Only it wouldn't be like that weird beigey yellow color. Like it looks like custard. Mine would be black and it would have like white writing on it that's like awesome love and balance or something that's, I don't know, abstract. Comfort is king. As long as you can relax in them, any clothes are good. Hells to the yeah, Maka, you get it. You get it. Still, it'd be nice to have an outfit picked out for when we go on more picnics together like this. You want to make it our regular thing? <laughs> I'd love that! La 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 la! Oh. 
the week is over. Two, count them two. Ha, ha, ha. Weeks until the Passion Festival. Tutorial. Customize Cece's look. Oh, that's right. I forgot I could give her outfits. Did you know you can change your outfit on the progress screen? Check to see what you unlocked with right click or escape. I totally forgot about that. That's my basic outfit. Oh, and it's my little gardening outfit. Oh, so cute. And it's my little tea. And I love how she puts her hair up in a little poof. Oh, <laughs> ah, you're adorable. Um, you know what? I kind of like that. I really like your like regular outfit. Oh, I can unlock eight. Okay. You know what? We're gonna go with the t-shirt because I'm a very sporty girl. And Cece, you're gonna be me. So we're gonna we're gonna do this. All right. What Cece wears doesn't affect the story, but it sure is fun to dress up. We're halfway there. I'm looking forward to this week, too. What should I do this week? Do you really need to ask? We're going to be gardening. As week three rolls in, Cece's anemone isn't doing any better. Oh, yeah. Why didn't I ask Maka about it? Huh? Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. What do I do? I can't possibly start raising another. Come on. You were doing so well before. What's the matter? Cece is at a loss for what to do. She's looked up so many solutions, but none of them seem to work. What can she do? Ba ba da ba! Maka to the rescue. Hmm. There's only one thing left to do. I have to ask her. She's got to know something. Cece seeks out Maka, who comes over to look at the anemone. Wow, this little dude really needs some help. I know. I'm a failure as its mommy. I've been trying so hard every week, I just can't figure out what to do. Here, let me take a closer look at it. Mako picks up the anemone from the ground and starts examining it more thoroughly. At one point, she even sniffs it. Hmm. <laughs> Without saying a word, Maka hands off the anemone to Cece and starts examining Cece's garden as well. Um, Maka? Hold on just one sec, Cece. Maka looks all around Cece's garden, tilting her head now and again like she's thinking. She points to a particular spot in the garden. Right here is where you were growing it, right? Uh, yeah, it was there. Is that the wrong spot somehow? <sighs> Saying it's wrong isn't quite how I'd put it, but it definitely ain't right. Oh, what's wrong with that spot? It's simple. All the other corals and anemones in this spot were stealing all sorts of stuff your little anemone here needs. Nutrients, sun, and even fish. They were stealing it all. My other plants were being thieves? That's not what I know. What? Oh, Cece, you're cute. It's a very easy mistake to make. Heck, I've done it. Do you think my anemone will get better in time if I move it? If you don't hear me talk, by the way, it's because I'm taking another sip of my water. Oh, sure. Especially if you make sure to give it some extra love. I will. I'll spoil it to no ends. That's the spirit. Cece does as Macarena suggested and moves her special anemone. She's extremely careful in making sure it has enough space and light. She's unsure if this plan will really work, but it's the only chance she's got. Come on, Anemone, you can do it! Passion event, da 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 blub 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 Cece picks up some coral at the store and learns a little bit more about gardening from a friendly old lady. Thanks, ma'am. Always happy to learn something new. Whatever shall I do with my Saturday? I think I know. Oh, I think I know too, Cece. I wonder if any of my friends are free for the weekend. Maka. Cece peeks out of her kitchen window to see Maka in her garden just as she'd hoped. She eagerly swims out to greet her and share some of the little snack-sized sandwiches she just made. You can't sneak up on me this time, Cece. Not when you're carrying food. 
Oh, these? They're just PB and J. You wouldn't really want any. <laughs> Koi. I would too. Unless you really wanted to eat them all. It just looks like an awful lot for one little mermaid. <laughs> You're right. They're for Sharon. Sorry they're nothing fancy. Maka reaches over and nabs the closest sandwich, chomping it down in one swift bite. Better than I could do. You don't cook for yourself, Maka? I wanted to learn, but I was never any good. Best I can do is grow food for others to turn into nice meals. Haha! -ha, something that's not gardening. You're right. Did you plan for this to happen? <laughs> you know me, evil mastermind of learning Maka secrets. <laughs> You're sexy, Maka. Oh, you. Maka and Cece laugh together, eating up all the snackwidges. <laughs> I feel like that's what I'm going to call everything from now on. I'm just going to put snack in front of it. Cece listens intently as Maka shares some of her attempted cooking stories. A few months back, I forced myself to eat this not-so-great stew I cooked up. Oh man. Later that night, I barfed it all up. That's about when I gave in. Cooking's not for me. <laughs> Jeez, I'd be scared to try again too after something like that. Maybe I'll give it another shot. I already learned what not to do. Don't make stuff that makes you puke. I like your optimism, Maka. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, here's another Maka fact for your collection. I had a really wonderful grandma who helped raise me. She had the biggest smile. Whenever anyone tells me I'm overly positive, I always think of her. That's so sweet. Oh, it really is. I feel like I learned so much about you today, Maka. Thank you. Aw, oh, Cece. Now I'm all embarrassed. Next time, I better bring you a snack. If you're brave enough, that is. Uh, a snack from Maka? I'm really looking forward to it. Hopefully he doesn't give me the shits. <laughs> That's sweet. I'll do my best to make it edible. Cece and Maka share a big laugh and continue on with talk of different foods they like. <laughs> oh, we laugh together. Cece is very excited to try Maka's cooking. I have to come out here next weekend for sure. For mission, get closer to Maka to succeed. Okay. Friend event and I'm twerking. Harder than I twerked before. Okay. Cece introduces Maka to an MMO where you can forage and explore and raise cool plants together. Oh my god, and Maka is also a gamer. Sweet. By the way, that was one of my favorite things about this game, too, is that they made C uh, is that they made CC a gamer. Whoa, watch out! My planting stat is already halfway to max. Haha, <laughs> I'm almost at level 20 gathering. I got some rare seeds to trade you once I'm out of this dungeon. There are dungeons? I haven't even left town. You didn't tell me there's dungeons in this. Maka, where do you think I've been getting all my gold? <laughs> They're only in dungeons, stupid face. That's where all the gold is. They spent most of the weekend on voice chat farming materials to build the best garden on the server. Blah, 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 bling. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Ah, all right, we're coming to the end. Soon we will have the Passion Festival and I will see how well I do. The week is over. One more week until the Passion Festival. It's the final stretch. I feel like I can do anything. <laughs> then she swims out of the ocean and goes on land and then just dies. <laughs> what should I do this week? Mm. Oh, I don't know. We think of it. Gardening. The final week before the festival has arrived. It's the moment of truth for Cece and her anemone. Bravely, Cece swims into her garden to see. Her anemone is doing better than ever. Oh, you go, anemone. Oh my gosh, look at you. It's huge and vibrant and absolutely teeming with sea life. You're so beautiful and lovely, I could cry. Cece jumps to tending her garden full of vigor. 
She grooms her anemone, checking to make sure everything is in order. She trims the tentacles, fertilizes the dirt, and checks the fish living there. All of them seem healthy and lively. Wow, Maka was right. You really came around. Overjoyed, Cece goes to thank her neighbor. Oh, Maka, I was looking for you. Wow, what's up, neighbor? You look excited. I am excited. My anemone is all better, and it's even bigger than before, too. Congratulations! I wanted to thank you for all of your help. You've been amazing! Well, hey, it's my pleasure to do what I can for you. In the end, it was all of your hard work and love that did it. All I did was offer a little advice. All the heavy lifting was done by you. You really think so? You really understand the reality of what happened? I know so. It ain't like I came into your garden and fixed it up, did I? That was you who did it, Cece. Wait a minute. Maka, did you come into my garden and fix it up? I don't know. Now I don't trust you. Well, when you put it that way, I've really come a long way, haven't I? You sure have. You should feel mighty proud about how. I do. Thank you again, Maka. Of course. Being able to spend so much time in her garden had really given Cece a new appreciation for Maka. Wait a minute, that's not, huh? Isn't that, like, the narrator who's supposed to say this? I don't know. Well, the time they spent together during the weekends helped, too. Cece was looking forward to seeing both of their gardens get bigger and brighter in the coming seasons. As the day before the festival approaches, Cece puts some of the final touches on her anemone. She encases the whole anemone in a protective bubble, trapping its fish with it. That should just about do it. In perfect presentation order for the festival. Yay! After four long weeks of work, Cece's garden had already come a long way. It felt so much more alive than before and wrapped Cece up in a serene feeling. I... I think gardening was my true passion all along. I'm so happy to find... I'm so happy to have finally found it. Knowing everything is as it should be, and that her anemone is protected, Cece is ready to take on the festival. Why does that sound ominous? Before heading into her house for the night, she notices Maka tending her own garden. In a grand gesture, Cece waves to Maka. She's so cute. Thank you, Maka. Without you, I couldn't have done this. I'll be seeing you again next week as a winner of the Passion Festival. Yeah, go kick some tail. All right. Is it going to be spicy fish tail? <laughs> Passion event. I'm uh, dancing again. All right. Maka gives Cece a start for another anemone after seeing her working hard in her garden. You're going to look so cute next to the anemone that'll win for me in the Passion Festival. Uh-oh. I foresee, is she going to put it next to the other one and then it's going to like do the same thing and kill the anemone? Oh, what is happening, Cece? Don't make bad choices in the 11th hour. This is my last chance to relax before the Passion Festival. The month went by so fast. I wonder if any of my friends are free. It's weird, you know, I've had four weeks with Maka and we're still not, you know, close, close. So let's see what happens. Cece waits in her garden all morning for Maka to come out. And when she does, she's carrying a tray of tea and sea sponge cake. Haha, <laughs> love it. Don't worry, it's not made of real sea sponges. It's made of other ingredients you could not possibly have gotten. Hope I didn't make you wait too long. Yeah. <laughs> oh, me? I wasn't waiting or nothing. I'm always out here relaxing. Sure, sure. Well, I made some cake. Wanna try it? I'd love to. Is it made from scratch? No, scratch is too expensive. <laughs> uh, it's made from a box. Did I mess up already? I followed the instructions. <laughs> no, no, it's probably better for my safety that you didn't try baking it from scratch yet. One day you'll def be able to make it from scratch, though. Mark my words. It seems like you know a lot more than me, Cece. Maybe I'll come over and you can teach me a thing or two. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like fun. And also sexual. So, how is it? Feel like barfing? Uh, it's not very good. But it's not bad either. 
As long as I didn't accidentally poison you. The operative word being accidentally. Dum dum dum. Maka and Cece start giggling as Cece tries to finish her cake. How nice, Cece thinks. Maka has really been trying her best. With every week they spent together, Cece has found herself looking forward to seeing Maka more and more each passing day. But soon enough, she won't be able to use a convenient premise of getting to know Maka better anymore. What if Maka somehow gets tired of this? Uh-oh. Cue self-doubt. Cece sips her tea to keep from thinking about that too hard. But some sadness must have shown through because Maka suddenly interjects. Cece, your eyes got such a faraway look in them all of a sudden. Are you feeling okay? Uh, don't worry. It's not the food, at least. Thank goodness. I, I gotta say, I really appreciate all the effort you put into this. Ah, uh, it was nothing special. It's special to me. You went out of your way to make me happy and all. I go out of my way for you anytime. I really like you, Cece. Oh. <laughs> Now's the perfect chance, isn't it? Ask what you've been waiting to ask, Cece. Yes, yeah, Cece, do it. Hey, uh, Maka? Will you go out with me? Oh, Cece, that was so adorable! Do you also want her to wear your jacket? Huh? We are out. Not outside, I meant... Uh, can I be your girlfriend? Uh, 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 no one's ever asked me out before. It's easy. What should I say? Uh, you can't ask me that. I want to hear your answer. <laughs> right, of course. If you're okay with a girlfriend like me, it sounds... good? Really? Hooray! Maka's incredibly embarrassed reaction is... so cute. Cece is really glad she could muster up the courage to finally say what she needed to say to Maka. And thank you, Maka, for giving me this chance. Well, yeah, I... It's, uh, not like I haven't thought about it before myself. Maka. There's a tense moment of silence between the two. Mostly just because both of them are very nervous and excited about the abrupt development. Do you want to go on a date at the Passion Festival? A date? Yeah, a date at the Passion Festival sounds like fun, don't you think? I... Yeah, that sounds like loads of fun. Cece smiles as Maka appears to perk up again. Uh, hold on. Should we be making a plan or something? Wait, didn't you just make a plan? Oh, you mean like... <laughs> I just realized she meant like, you know, what they're gonna do. Oh gosh, we don't have to worry about that yet. Let's play it by Finn and figure out what we want to do when we're there, you know? It takes a little bit of the pressure off. Mm, okay. Maka seems as normal as ever, as their conversation continues where it left off. Oh my god, I like this, like, that the back is out here. Very me. But she's definitely sitting a lot closer to Cece than she was before. Plus, her face has a nice shade of red to it now. It may be subtle, but Cece can feel the gap between her and Maka is smaller now. All because we both put in the effort to get to this point. I'm so glad it turned out she likes me back, too. Otherwise, I would have had to murder her. <laughs> I'm so happy. Me, too. Our relationship is only just starting to bloom. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, guys, calm down, all right? Cece makes a mental note. <laughs> yeah, it was a mental note. To think of more gardening jokes she could make to impress Maka. I hope I can come up with lots for our future dates. Friend event that turned into a girlfriend event instead. Mm -mm -mm. Maka and Cece visit the botanical gardens. Hey Maka, do you have a favorite plant? 
There's no way I could choose just one. But what if you had to choose? What if someone was going to gouge your eyeballs out with a melon ball or if you didn't choose? Tell me, tell me. They're all good, and I love them for different reasons, Cece. Also, that was a really weird ultimatum. If I'm remembering right, you've got a lot of brain coral in your garden. Okay, maybe that kind's a little bit special to me. <laughs> all right. Very sweet. I'm so excited. We're going to get to the Passion Festival. The festival starts tomorrow. La, 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 Hell yeah. I forgot the music of the festival is awesome. Uh, 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 shake, shake, shake. Finally, the Passion Festival has arrived. After a long month of planning, it's finally time to put everything Cece has worked toward to good use. Cece proudly swims to the sign-up area for the gardening contest, cradling her lovingly raised anemone. Mm -mm. The showcase room is filled to the brim with beautiful sea plants and coral. Oh, wow. This is some stiff competition, but I'm feeling good. This novice category is no problem. Cece wastes no time setting up her anemone on its own pedestal. Her anemone is looking its best today. Cece is brimming with confidence. Look at you, my little baby darling. Who's going to kick some tail today? It's you. Yes, it's you. Before Cece can continue with her embarrassing display, Maka appears before her. Floosh in a flash of light. <laughs> you like pep talking your plants and such too, huh? Ah, Maka, you saw that? <laughs> sure did, pal. I won't tell nobody, though. <laughs> and now I know one more thing about you, too. Oh, yeah? I guess you do. And I'm hoping you'll be able to find out even more on our date later today. Yes, our date. I'm so excited. Ever so, I can barely stand it. <laughs> Seems like that helped with the nerves already, huh? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Guess we'll just have to keep talking about our date, then. Uh, what are we doing on our date, anyways? I haven't ever really done much at the festival aside from stuff to do with gardening. Really? Haven't you come to the festival for like years now? You haven't ever wandered around and done anything besides this? Uh, yeah? Is that bad? Oh, no, 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 sorry. I didn't mean to make it sound that way. I was just shocked since there's so much fun stuff to do at the Passion Festival. Like, what exactly? Well, there's lots of food and shopping. Oh, another contest. It's good for people watching, and there's presentations to learn new stuff. I think this year there are even some rides. Presentations, huh? Do you think there'd be anywhere I could learn to cook better? Oh gosh, I'm so sure there is. Then let's check that out. Yeah, of course. Before the planning can continue, an announcement chimes through the showcase room. The Novice Gardener category winners are about to be announced. Oh my gosh, I gotta go! Cece rushes off to hear the results. Good luck, Cece! Alright, let's see how my little girl did. Cece lines up with the rest of the contestants next to their plants. She can feel her heart racing as the results are finally announced. Doki 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 doki. They announce honorable mentions. Third place. Second place. Cece's name hasn't come up. She thinks she might be out. When suddenly. Cece comes in first place! Uh, uh, uh. Cece came in first. First place. Akadaka dee 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 dee. Completely stunned, Cece hesitates before swimming up to give her thanks. All of the judges and other contestants shake her hand as the crowd cheers all the while. Cece is stunned to have received such a high reward. She wonders how she got so lucky. The judges all happily compliment Cece, speaking highly of her anemone. They were surprised to see a newcomer with such a strong and vibrant anemone. It was almost an anemone anomaly. It was not only the color and sturdiness of Cece's anemone that convinced them, but all the different type of fish that lived in and around it. It was all enough to push her into gold. Thank you. Thank you all so much. 
I'll treasure this day and keep my anemone safe. Who knows, maybe it'll grow even bigger by next year. Or maybe I'll have a new plant to show off. Gosh, I'm so excited. Thank you, thank you, thank you. With tears in her eyes, CC exits the showcase room. I can't believe it, I can't believe it, I won. When I go back home, I'm gonna go kiss every single plant and fish in my garden. I can't wait to tend to it more. With a wind behind her, it was time for Cece to enjoy the rest of the festival. She was ready to flaunt her stuff to everyone. She had finally found her true passion. Now she had discovered her dream. The dream of becoming the best gardener she could be, filling her garden with vivid colors. From now on, Cece is a gardener. Oh, I got the ultimate gardener ending. Sweet. Mm. As the contests all wrap up for the day, Cece meets up with Maka at a stall doing cooking presentations. Oh, that's right. The cooking presentation. Maka excitedly greets Cece. Cece, how are you feeling after the contest? Better now that it's over. I'm pretty satisfied, too. That's great to hear, Cece. I knew you had it in you. I'm excited to see what you start growing for next year. I'll be sure to surprise you, ha <laughs> ha. Gardening aside, check out my apron. Pretty spiffy, huh? You look picture perfect, Maka. <laughs> You're such a kidder, Cece. Oh, I'm serious. You look really cute. You do look cute, Maka. You still look scary with your scary teeth, but I love your scary teeth. They're what makes you you. Uh-oh. Thanks, Cece. Of course, Maka. This is a date after all, you know. Can you blame me for flirting a little? Uh, should I flirt too, then? Only if you wanna. Hmm. Uh, Cece, you look very... You're as pretty and as vibrant as the best donut coral I've ever seen. Donut coral, huh? Uh, was that not right? No, no, it was perfect. I was just thinking about how so very you it was. <laughs> Flirting aside, everything aside, basically, I think the presentation's about to start, you know? Oh, yes, let's get cooking. Cece and Maka settle into their cooking station, listening to instructions from a very blonde chef all the way in front. Why is that relevant that she's very blonde? Is she a blonde fish? Is that a type of fish? I don't know fish. Cece looks down and notices all the ingredients in front of them are from a cake. From scratch. Sneaky Maka picked a presentation on how to bake a cake from scratch. Soon enough, it's time for the two of them to start cooking. Ah. Ah, hold on. Did he say cinnamon or cloves? And which comes first? Does it really matter which comes first? It might. Despite their fumbling, Cece and Maka work in tandem incredibly well. Cece is pleased to see what a great team they make, and their cake is in the oven baking in no time. You know, this is interesting too, because when I played it the first time, because I didn't give her a romantic, like, path, when the festival ended, like, the thing just ended, like, her story was just done. Now, I get to actually have all this extra stuff. Phew, and now we wait. It's always a little nerve-wracking waiting for something to bake, isn't it? I would know. This is only my second or third time doing it. God. Oh, right. I almost forgot. It just seemed to come to nat- It just seemed to come- It just seemed to come naturally to you. What? It just seemed to come so naturally to you. I forgot you weren't a pro. I guess that's what it should say. Oh, gosh. You're flattering me now. Maybe just a little. I do think this is a really cool first date, though. I'm so glad we get to be here together. You're so great, Maka! <laughs> oh, me too. And you too. Maybe we can do other stuff too, after this is done baking. <laughs> of course. Maka laughs at Cece's enthusiastic response. Her expression softens like the butter they use to bake the cake. And her fondness for Cece is utterly obvious. Mm. Thanks for hanging out with me so much this month, Cece. You're a good neighbor. And girlfriend, right? Uh, yes, and girlfriend. 
Of course. See, oh, there we go. So cute. Oh, so cute to boot. Cece is so excited she leaps into Maka's arms. She plants one big smooch on Maka's cheek. Let's bake lots and lots more cakes in the furniture. In the furniture. Let's make lots and lots more cakes in the future. <laughs> Just cake? <laughs> and more stuff, too. Being in Maka's gorgeous buff arms like this felt so right to Cece. Gosh, <laughs> you're so big. <laughs> Thanks. I like to think so, too. And cute. Aw, uh -huh. thank you, Maka. Can I give you a kiss, too? On the lips? <laughs> Please! Oh, snizzle snaps, my gizzle snaps! And just like that, Mako gives Cece one big smooch in return. It was entirely all too lovely and sweet for Cece. She was so happy that she could help Mako open up more and learn more about herself in the process. Having Maka be so close to her felt so rewarding for so many different reasons. Cece was so, so glad that they were going to be girlfriends from now on. It had been such a long and complicated month for Cece, but she was so glad it had helped her find her way closer to Maka. She was so glad about everything. I'm just going to keep saying she was so glad. She was really looking forward to where they'd go in the future and what they'd do. For now, though, she was content just spending the rest of the day with Maka. Cece, the cake! I got the Maka ending! Clap, clappy, clap, clap, clap. Clap, clap the credits, clap. So that was the Maka ending of Mermaid Splash Passion Festival. Again, I really love this the first time I played it, so I did want to come back and do one of the romantic lines. So yeah, let me know if you want me to play through the other three uh, romantic routes, and I'll happily do it because I really like this game. It's really sweet, said everything I wanted to about it the first time around, uh, but yeah, really enjoyed this one.